Here we are with the fifth part of lesson 69. We're building up from the basics. So just in the last piece, just clarified that good posture leads you to a good grip. You can't have really good grip without good posture. But once the grip is established, that of itself is then the doorway to the backswing. Now we're crystal clear the function of the pre-shot routine or the standard operating procedure. The reason you go through your pre-shot routine or your SOP is to prepare for the shot. That's its function, whether you're Jim Furyk or whether you're Tiger Woods or Tom Watson. That's the principle. So the good grip and posture are the doorway to the backswing. Now what's the backswing for? It is not to get in a good position. That's the worst thing you could think. You've got 13 long clubs, that's 13 positions. Then there's half shots, so that's 26. And then there's three quarter shots, so that's the 49 and so on, okay? Whether you're Jim Furyk or Tom Watson, Tiger Woods or you or me, the purpose of the backswing is to create power. So, in this fifth part of Lesson 69, I just want you to understand there's a transition from the preparation for power to the creation of power. Now, I'm going to make you a golf swing. In fact, I'll hit a shot for you. Okay, so there's my six iron to the fifth hole at Pebble Beach. And you can see that I prepared and I created power. Now, if you ask me what is the critical thing in the golf swing, what's the thing that's the hardest to do from novice to beginner, I absolutely know what it is. It's the first inch of the backswing. So, the shoulder has to coil, and the good Lord's given me a lever, the left arm, to make the shoulder coil. So most of us hit poor shots because the hand and the arm and the club go separately from the shoulder. What we must understand is, if the grip and the posture are good, the left shoulder is the creator of the power. So the first inch of the backswing should be the left shoulder. And the left shoulder is going to go to my Adam's apple. Okay? I don't worry about the right shoulder. It has no home. It's gone forever. If I stand up and show my swing in the horizontal, you can see that my shoulder turn goes across my throat. I can go no further than my Adam's apple. That's in plane, it's powerful, it's accurate. The right shoulder doesn't know where it's going. Now, we know that the left arm should be relatively straight in the golf swing. So, as we've leaned forward to build a grip, guess what? The left arm has had an established line. Now, your left arm has two functions. It functions as a lever. Nobody wants a rubber lever. Secondly, it functions as a spoke. It's the spoke of a wheel. Again, I don't think we want a spoke that bends. So, the function, the principle behind the shoulder turn is the left arm affects that leverage. And the first inch is the key. You know that I've designed to explain our swing training system. I designed it primarily to teach the first inch of the backswing. This is a shoulder turn. This isn't. Can you see that? This is a shoulder turn. This isn't. If I show you the swing, let's suppose I put a splodge of red paint on my shoulder, back of my hand and the club face. In the good backswing, in the creation of power, in the first inch, the three splodges of red paint go as one. However, if the bottom two splodges go first, we're in jeopardy. So Simon, my director and cameraman, he'll put a, a graphic, he'll put three dots, and you'll see in the good toe the three dots go as one, and on the poor takeaway, the bottom two top dots go independently. So, once it's set up, the great pre shot routine, we're creating power, and the ignition point is the left shoulder. Now, having explained to you the left arm is straight or extended, that's not true of the right hand. So here's a drill for you. Let your arms extend in front of you, and put your palms together. Okay? So if I lean forward, you can see them. Now, this is the thing I want you to learn from this particular piece. We learn to fold the right elbow. Can you see that? There's two arms extended. There is me folding the right elbow. Now, I mustn't affect the right hand or the shoulder. They must stay intact, but the right elbow folds. Now, it's something that you wouldn't choose to do, but if you notice good players, invariably they all do it. Why? Because if the right arm is extended, the backswing jams. By folding the elbow at address, we don't have to worry about it. And as the left arm and the shoulder create the power, the right elbow folds the right amount. 
Now you don't have to worry where it goes. It will vary from club to club. If your shoulder coil is powerful and your right elbow is folded at address, there is no reason for your right elbow not to behave. So again, it's one of those little mannerisms that we do at address. One less thing to think about in the backswing. Okay. So, hitting another shot for you. Offering the club. Tipping from the hip, left thumb, right hand, and now you add it in, right elbow. You just fold the elbow. Now when you go back, the right elbow folds neatly. It's given me no problem at all. I can release the club. See, even with the pause, I didn't lose the power. So many of you watching this DVD will make the classic mistake of going through your pre-shot routine and the right hand should be lower than the left. But the human being doesn't like that, it's uneven, so we level the shoulders up. Can you see what's happened to my right arm now and my shoulder line? So the ability to get the right elbow to submit ensures that my shoulders are slightly inclined as they should be. We do not want the shoulders level. We want them slightly inclined, in my case, to the right. And the right elbow helps that. So let me just show that one more time. Club, grip, shoulder to elbow folded, I go into a good backswing. However, if the right arm extends, my shoulders got open, you can see where the swing is going to go and it creates all sorts of problems. So it's again, it's one of those things you put into the pre-shot routine, you don't have to worry about it in the backswing. So from this piece, in the way that the posture gave us good grip, good grip is the doorway to the creation of power in the backswing. And where does that come from? It comes from the first inch. Your left shoulder and left arm ignite the backswing and therefore if your grip and posture is good, there's nothing to impede it. Any misalignment in the grip and the posture will damage your power, and as you damage the power, guess what? You'll damage your accuracy. So, just to clarify one more time, three, di three disciplines, set up, prepare, coil, create power, release, hit the shot. I've got you through the preparation, and I've started us on the most important journey, the first inch of the takeaway.